so so this is an interesting topic uh, boobies how do people sexualize women boobies and how do people sexualize men's boobies well uh, we all know that uh, women's boobies are uh, conventionally considered very very sexy uh, uh, along with other body parts of course there we go beautiful I'm very talented. If you want, I can give you private lessons, uh, if you can afford it. Um, and uh, then we have guys, right? Uh, which uh, have a little bit of a different booby, but still a very good booby nonetheless. Maybe some six packs, etc. And a nice face too. Wow, very good. Um, so. We all know women cover their boobs normally. It's not a must. I heard that in, I think in New York, you can walk around without a bra, um, especially in the summer when it's too hot. So there are certain exceptions to this, thank God. But generally it is expected, at least in the Western world, that the ladies cover their bits here. And if you don't, it's very erotic, considered very erotic. But the men, as you know, walk around freely with their tempting boobies. Um, now, the first time I considered men's boobies was when I saw Devil May Cry 3. I think it's from 2006 or something. And uh, I just noticed that there's this character, Dante, and he's wearing a, a long coat, red coat. But you can clearly see that there's a leather strap going past his chest right about here. Which, uh, I don't know if it's a, a holster for guns or anything else, but regardless, he has a naked torso with a six-pack and then there's the strap here. And that was the first time I realized how sexy <laughs> men's pecs are. And the nipples because because they were covered and I couldn't keep my eyes off of it like oh my god oh my god sweat and then I finally also understood I and I got a better understanding for uh, people who Google at men's or uh, women's breasts because they're kind of juicy and hidden not to mention uh, pumped up but that's another thing we're gonna get to that later um, well, my solution, my proposition for this uh, discrepancy is if we're gonna wear a bra, I think both men and women should either wear it, right? So we, this is the world we would live in, or none of us should just wear it at all. and. To my taste, this is more preferred, like you should have a choice if you wear it or not and this shouldn't be somehow required of you, just like you don't think a man should wear a bra, right? Although, I wouldn't mind. Um, so should we wear a bra or shouldn't we wear a bra? I think the, a fair warning to all the men that consider wearing a bra they are pretty uncomfortable. The, these spaghetti straps keep ending up here, yeah, which might look sexy, but it feels like uh, it feels like horrible. And then you have to climb inside your blouse with your hand. Oh, let me just fix that real quick. And, and it looks like you're scratching your armpits. It's not sexy at all to me. Second of all, the bra captures a lot of sweat here um, it's unsanitary I don't really like the feel of it and the smell is not too sexy either and most importantly the push-up type of a bra right which is what makes this form of your booby right this rounded shape has a fucking bone in it so it's pretty close to this picture, really, except maybe it's a bit more sanitary, but 
basically on the bottom here, what enables this rounded form is a bone. And this too tends to hurt, not to mention it can actually stick out if this fabric breaks loose. So you're walking around with an open bone and it can really damage some fabrics or even maybe worse. I'm interested in hearing stories. And basically this bone is what makes uh, the surrounded shape is what we said, right? And let's face it, no wonder, again, everybody oogles at this because... Oogles, I mean, is it oogles or oogles? I don't know. Because when something is so round, so round, you have to look at it. I mean, when a woman wears a cleavage like this, and she wants to say my eyes are up here. Yes, your eyes are up here, but your eyes are very small rounded objects. And this is like a fortress. Like, I am a very heterosexual person. I, I do prefer men at all times, but when I see a breast so round, I can't help but stare. I'm really sorry. <laughs> uh, and, uh, with, but that brings me to another topic, which is how people tend to draw women's breasts then. This whole bone thing influences the cheap art world, right? Um, I notice a lot, like I've been hanging around a lot on these websites for art improvement, like level up concept art and stuff, and they're great, they're amazing, I wish I could draw like them, but very often you're gonna see this push-up thing dominating the pictures, Ex especially the Chinese artists, they tend to really go for this form and it, to be honest it's a little bit boring, it perpetuates this shape which is really not that comfortable and then this style also when they take the clothing off, when, pe when people draw nudes, they still might take on this form or forget this is actually not how breasts look like because breasts are more like if this is your uh, chest cavity they are balls of fat that just they are hanging on there more or less right they can still look amazing but they, they have a sense of gravity right so it would be nice that um the ladies could have a um like a choice you know like you can either have a super awesome cleavage which just looks like a terminator you know, red eyes here shoot to kill sarah connor or or you could wear a t-shirt and not have your boobs trapped in this not amalgamate sweat here and just have your nipples show a little bit so what i mean who gives a fuck and to be honest if you think you're gonna dis distract men with your breasts I'm distracted by men's breasts too, like if I see a guy that has good boobs and he has a shirt over it and I see his nipples, well, I, I, I take note of the nipple and if I think that he has a good body, well, that's it, I just think, wow, that's nice. Uh, I don't necessarily get a boner out of it, but if I did, I could also still have a boner and still perform my daily routine, yeah? so. That's my opinion on this thing. Uh, I hope I was I'm not too unfair to women or men about this. You can let me know. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, yeah.